Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer and in this video we are going to have a look how you can audit and enable the Windows recovery environment for your servers using Azure Arc. So for those who are not familiar with the Windows recovery environment or WinRE or Windows RE, uh, this is really a re environment which can help you to quickly and securely recover your systems, right? Uh, this works for Windows 10 and Windows 11 desktops and client PCs, as well as for Windows Server 2016 and higher. And it comes with a couple of different tools to actually do diagnostics on these systems or also run repair jobs on these systems. Again, so you're probably familiar with this screen here. You may have seen that on um, your client computers as well, but obviously we can also use these for um, our servers. So if you have some of these mission critical systems, you're gonna be happy to have this feature enabled to quickly check if there's anything like an error or something like that, you can actually go and start your repair task there as well. So there is some guidance here, uh, how to use the Windows recovery environment uh, to troubleshoot common startup issues uh, on Windows servers. So this is specifically for Windows server design, but also obviously works with client as well. So you can run different tools here like BCD edit, uh, check disk, uh, CFC, uh, SC, <laughs> SFC, I apologize, and then DISM uh, to actually do some configuration steps there as well and add and repair uh, the Windows installation here. And again, there's more and more, there's more documentation on this, how this actually works. But obviously we want to make sure that our environment and our servers have this already enabled. So what I'm gonna show you here is how you can actually use Azure Arc and Azure Policy to audit that environment and see like which Windows servers uh, do not have WinRE enabled, for example, or are not um, designed to have WinRE. Uh, and then there's also a way to actually go and use these policies with guest, com with com guest configuration to actually then uh, deploy uh, WinRE on these machines. So for those who are not familiar with Azure Arc, Azure Arc is really the bridge between resources which run outside of Azure can be systems, Kubernetes clusters, servers, Azure local and other systems, for example, um, to connect that to the Azure control plane. And for servers, this is done pretty, pretty simple. You can, this works with Windows and Linux servers. Uh, you can basically go out and install an agent on these servers. They can run again on premises or even at other uh, cloud providers, and you can then basically manage it directly from the Azure control plane. In this case, I'm using the portal. Uh, again, there's also APIs and CLIs to do these management tasks like you would do with an Azure resource. So as you can see here, I already have a couple of servers joined here. And uh, for example, here's a list of servers. So if I click on one of these servers, let's take app zero two here. Um, this is a server, and again, for those who are not familiar with it, this looks like an Azure resource, but it actually runs on premises, right? This runs in my local data center or edge location, for example, or again, at another cloud provider. And I can then start using the Azure control plane. I can do role-based access control. I can use some of the management tooling here, for example, to like um, automate updates and do a lot of other tasks like monitoring as well. But what I wanna show you is the policy part. So you can use Azure policies to basically uh, audit machines and configure machines here with machine configuration uh, as well. And you can see here, these are now the policies I have assigned to that machine. I can also go and assign more policies uh, to these machines or initiatives uh, to see if this is configured securely, if certain software is installed, um, if there is uh, like some security settings I want to make, if I want to have some compliance settings with some regulatory requirements, for example, I can do that too. So with Azure Policy, I get all that power um, to have that view, not just in Azure, but also with Azure Arc about for systems which are running outside of Azure. So again, if you have more than one machine or you have multiple machines, you don't want to necessarily do this uh, for all the machines and then go through. So that is where you go to actually the policy view. And so I'm going to here to uh, Azure policy. And that is where, especially if you do compliance or security settings and things like that, and you want to have a common view, uh, this is a great place to actually go and configure these things. So what I want to show you first here is definitions. So on the definitions, there is a list of like 
definitions either we create it for you, someone else in your organization created for you, or like things you can create on your own. So you can create your own policies or definitions there uh, as well so that you can then basically assign those. Think about this, if you're coming from the Windows world, kind of like a stoop, uh, as a group policies on steroids. Um, and so this is actually a great way of doing that. Again, you can add the definitions and policies here as well. And then under assignments, that is where you then can basically assign these policies or definitions on different levels, right? And that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to show you how you quickly can uh, assign these policies to your environment. So let's click on assign policy. And then the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change the scope here. I'm going to set the scope. Uh, specifically, I can do this to the whole subscription. I can do this on a management group level. I can do this on a subscription level. I could even go down to one specific resource if I wanted to. But for now, let's say I want this for a specific uh, resource group where my servers are in. So I'm going to select this. And then I can also do, obviously, exclusions if there is, is, a, is a need to. And I can then select the policy definition. So that is where I actually now select the different policies. Again, you saw these before. So we have one for or two for WinRE, for example, the ones I just talked about. So if I search for WinRE, you can see they show up here. And there are two of them. One is for auditing the machine. So that doesn't do anything to the system. It just checks, is WinRE configured or is it there? And the other one basically is um, then configuring WinRE on these systems if it does, it's not there. So first of all, like let's go and audit that environment. So I'm going to select the audit uh, policy here. And then I can change the name of this assignment. So I can uh, change the name here and make sure that I have something which is probably more related to say, hey, this is for this specific project or group of servers. Uh, I can give it a description. And then on the next page, this is very important here, you can see here that usually when we do assign these policies, these are just enabled by default for Azure machines or Azure virtual machines for the Azure environments because they're also free to use there. Now for Arc enabled servers, we have a different pricing structure there. Um, and by default, like these policies are not necessarily free. There are some exceptions, and I will quickly go to the blog post where we explain this where they're actually free. So if you use, for example, um, Defender Plan 2 for servers, um, you get this actually for free. So just to quickly talk about pricing here, um, this is the blog post from the product group from Arnoff. Uh, so you can see here that you actually get these for no additional cost here. If you either use Extended Security Updates for your Windows Server 2012, again, um, obviously, like when it works with uh, Windows 2016, that's one, one other case. Uh, then you have Microsoft Defender for Servers Plan 2 enabled. You actually did the Windows Server with software assurance at the station. So that means if you have your Windows Server licenses uh, for software assurance, you can basically uh, say in the Azure portal at Azure Arc, yes, I have this license that gives you the attestation. And then you basically get also not charged for it. Or you do the pay as you go licensing here um, for your Arc enabled servers uh, as well directly from the Azure portal. Now, let's switch back uh, to the policy assignment. So again, just be aware of this. If you don't have one of these cases, there are probably additional costs uh, assigned to this. So in this case, I'm going to set it to true. And then I can go through this wizard and then I can give non-compliance message. Um, so it does, mm, does not have win or E. Click next and then click create. And this will do the assignment of this policy. This will then go out and check your servers so that if they have win or E enabled. And this will take obviously a while to go audit. And it will keep on going auditing your machines over time. So if something changes, it will also tell, tell you that as well. So I will, in the sake of time, I will skip this step to assign this and then wait. Like in a good cooking show, I already prepared something here. And so if I go to the compliance view, you can see here how I'm doing with compliance in my environment. And then you can also see that I actually already assigned this audit policy. So now if I click on this, uh, let me see if we have all the machines. Um, let me quickly change the scope here because I want to see 
everything in my subscription, not just a single machine. So I'm going to select my subscription here. And we'll see a little bit more. So now you can see here, OK, I have 12 resources where I've applied this um, policy. And it looks everything looks very good in my environment. Uh, because I set the service up with Winnery, everything looks good here. And so uh, this is very, very good. But if I have now a machine where the state changes, or if there's a new machine coming in, which automatically is joined, for example, to that specific resource group, it will be audited and will make sure that this is actually configured. So what do I do if things are not there? So I'm going to go in assignments and do the policy assignment again. Um, I'm going to select the specific subscription, and in this case, the resource group again. And then I'm going to select the policy definition, do WinRE. And I just want to quickly show you how that actually would look like. So if I do this configure Windows uh, recovery environment, I select this. Uh, same thing as before, I can change the name, give it a description. And then I can also, under parameters, then basically say, OK, include Arc enabled servers. And then here, under remediation, now I can say, OK, I want to create a, a remediation task so that like, I, I, I actually fix this issue. And then I can say, OK, need for this, I need to have a managed identity. I can either create a system assigned managed identity, or I can use a user assigned managed identity, and then make sure that it has the right permissions to do to the task. Um, so then. I can then also give a non-compliant message again, and then I can create this, and this would now then go out, and I could basically audit again the machines, and I could go out and actually configure the Windows RE environment for these servers. So I hope this video was helpful. Again, I put all the links of, of I just showed you today in the description below. So you can also check out how Azure Policies works with Azure Arc, uh, what the pricing is. You can go to Arnoff's blog post to learn more. I will also put in the links for the Windows RE documentation on uh, server as well. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I see you in the next one.